Good day, everyone. I am Bea Cosette Marie Di Sapio. And I am Alexa C. Dumanon. And we are going to tackle about a great, great French, French philosopher, philosopher Merleau-Ponty. Let us start. So, who is Merleau-Ponty? Maurice Jean-Jacques Merleau-Ponty was a French philosopher and public intellectual. He was the leading academic proponent of existentialism and phenomenology in post-war France. He was the leading phenomenological existential philosopher, best known for his original and influential work on embodiment, perception, and ontology. He also made important contributions to the philosophy of art, history, language, nature, and politics. He had a profound influence on French philosophy and social theory. Merleau Ponty published two major theoretical texts during his lifetime, The Structure of Behavior and Phenomenology of Perception. To jump in, let us first define what we mean by subjectivity or subject. For our purposes, we will think of a subject as something that has been. A subject is a real thing that can take real action and cause real effects. In short, it exists. Keeping this in mind, Maurice Merleau-Ponty believed the physical body to be an important part of what makes up the subjective self. This idea flew in the face of two of the most heralded yet opposing ideas in all of philosophy, which are empiricism and rationalism. To understand why Merleau-Ponty's ideas made such a splash, we need to understand the two philosophies. When speaking of self or being, rationalism asserts that reason and mental perception, rather than physical senses and experience, are the basis of knowledge and self. In other words, our rational thinking minds are where it is all at. According to many who held this belief, the mind is a seat of our consciousness. It is a subject behind what it means to be human. The body is just a shell. Standing in contrast to rationalism is empiricism, that is, the perception that our bodily senses are the best supply of knowledge. If the source of our knowledge cannot be seen, touched, heard, tasted, etc., it really cannot be trusted. Or in other phrases, if it cannot be empirically studied, it is a no-go. Under those parameters, the concept of a few mystical mind independently perceiving and giving us our feel of self comes under some serious scrutiny. An empiricist may argue that our bodily body and no longer some mystical thoughts makes up our experience of self. Now, let us go over Maurice Merleau-Ponty's theory of intersubjectivity and the phenomenology of perception. For Merleau-Ponty, any encounter with an other is preceded by a precognitive, prelinguistic encounter with otherness in the form of anonymous others whom we encounter as a part of an objectively shared world. No longer there simply for me, the world and the things found therein immediately point us to others. When these others appear, our objectively apprehended world gets sucked into their sphere of influence and we lose our position at the center of the world. The other is first perceived as a body, but this body is no mere object. The lived body of subjects is characterized by the reversibility of being both object and subject simultaneously. Just like poking your other hand, you're doing the action as well as being the subject, a special kind of object, the lived body of the other exhibits behavior much like our own that is all thank you hope you have learned a lot from our presentation